Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in the comments below. And today we're going to be looking at some word problems. We're going to read the directions really carefully and read the word problems even more carefully. Let's get started right away. Birthday word problems. Read each word problem. Circle the correct operation, plus or minus, to complete the equation. Then, add or subtract the numbers and circle the correct total. So in this worksheet, we're going to have to read the problems really carefully. Figure out whether the problem is asking us to add or subtract, and then solve the problem. Let's get started right away. Matt is really excited for his seventh birthday party. Matt is hanging balloons around. He has five blue balloons and six purple balloons. How many balloons does he have in total? Whenever I see a word problem, I like to read the whole thing first. Then I'm going to go back and reread the problem and underline the important information. Let's go back and reread and underline the important information. Matt is hanging balloons around. That's cool, but not so important for our problem. He has five blue balloons. That's some important information. Let's make sure to underline that. And six purple balloons. Another piece of important information that we should underline. How many balloons does he have in total? In total. There's my clue word. I think we're going to have to figure out how many blue balloons and purple balloons we have together. So let's draw my blue balloons. I know that there are five blue balloons. I also know that there are six purple balloons. So now that I have my drawing of my purple and blue balloons, I have to really think deeply. If I have five blue balloons and six purple balloons, and we want to know the total, do you think we're going to be putting these balloons together and adding them up or taking some balloons away? In this problem, nowhere does it say that a kid popped a balloon or a kid took a balloon home. Nowhere the number of balloons is getting smaller. If anything, the number of balloons is going to get larger because we have to find the blue balloons and the purple balloons added together. We're going to be adding in this problem to find out the total. The word total usually gives you a clue that this is an addition problem. So let's count our balloons or add them together. I know we have five in the top row, one, two, three, four, five, but let's keep counting to find out the total. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, I think there's eleven balloons, but let's just write five plus six and check one more time. Choose the strategy of counting on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Five plus six is eleven, so this problem asks us to add the balloons and it gives us a total of 11 balloons, both blue and purple. Let's read the next problem just as carefully and see if it wants us to add or subtract. At the very same birthday party, Matt and his friend ate pizza for dinner. There were 12 pizzas. The children ate seven of them. How many pizzas were left over? Okay, good. We read the whole problem, but now let's back up and reread the problem and underline the important information. Of course, we'll draw the pizzas. Unfortunately, we can't eat the pizzas. Matt and his friends ate pizza for dinner. <sighs> Sounds tasty, but not that important to our problem. There were 12 pizzas. That sounds like a fact. There were 12 pizzas there. Doesn't sound like we're getting any more pizzas, but let's keep reading. The children ate seven of them. Another piece of important information. When you eat pizza, does the pizza disappear or do you get an extra pizza? When I eat pizza, it usually disappears into my stomach. That's like taking pizza away, which is just like subtracting. But let's keep reading before we make that decision. How many pizzas were left over? So it seems like it wants to know how many pizzas were left after the kids ate seven. Now, if you ate seven, are we adding or subtracting? Well, let's draw our 12 pizzas. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 12 pizzas. 
Now I ate seven pizzas. Like I said before, those pizzas are disappearing or we're taking them away or we are subtracting those pizzas. So let's cross out the seven pizzas that the kids ate to find out the answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So how many pizzas are left over? One, two, three, four, five pizzas left over. So I think the answer is five. 12 minus seven equals five. But let's write that, 12 minus seven, and use our strategy of counting back to see if 12 minus seven really equals five. 12, remember, don't count 12. 11, 10, nine, eight, seven. I have five fingers up. 12 minus seven is five. Boys and girls, remember, when you have a word problem and you have to figure out whether it's an addition or subtraction problem, look for clues like total or left over, and then draw pictures to help you imagine the problem and figure out the answer. Great job, boys and girls. We'll see you next time. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.